Hello everybody, I'm Tom White from Engine and welcome to Spotlight, where we share best practices and opportunities from our members across the network. Today, we're focused on China and the incredible clean tech transformation underway in one of the world's largest markets. Joining us from Shanghai is the CEO of Engine member InnoSpace, Richard Tan. Richard, welcome to the Engine Spotlight. Uh, hello, Tom. Uh, thank you for having me. Great to have you here. So, Richard, InnoSpace is an incubator, but it's different than other incubators in China. Can you tell us about that? Uh, well, we started off in 2011, and uh, we started off as, a, as an incubator. And since then, we have actually evolved uh, over time to become a very comprehensive uh, innovation platform. Uh, currently, within the platform, we have uh, incubators, uh, industry-specific accelerators, we have a startup academy, a VC club, and supported with two uh, angel investment funds. So over the years, uh, we have uh, successfully incubated and accelerated more than 650 uh, startups. Uh, our six-year survival rate is at and fairly impressive, uh, close to 70%. And we have uh, and six out of uh, Shanghai 38 unicorns actually hailed from our uh, platform. So we are, in a way, quite different from uh, uh, the other incubators in the sense that we have a very complete, a complete uh, support mechanism. Um, and back with that, uh, based on a business model of incubation plus investment model. So uh, that goes hand in hand. And also in line with that, we work closely with the uh, big multinationals to provide the uh, industry resources uh, they need. And this is particularly important for uh, B2B type of uh, B2B as well as a deep tech kind of startups for them to not just uh, to land in China, but more importantly, for, for them to land and expand and do well in China. So this is um, uh, something which have, we have evolved over time since 2011. And to date, we have got uh, six presents across uh, Shanghai, Sunchen and Nanjing, and each of these uh, centers have got different opera, uh, different focus. Uh, but primarily, uh, these uh, are aligned with our investment uh, strategy and focus. So as of now, our second investment funds, we focus uh, uh, very uh, heavily on advanced manufacturing as well as 5G telecommunication. I see. Okay, so are those the sort of startups and organizations that you're looking for to attract into InnoSpace? Since 2015, um, as we trans, uh, evolved over time and as we started embarking on um, looking at advanced manufacturing, we started working with the industry giants uh, such as Siemens, uh, BMW for Connect the Cars, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and recently, we started uh, focusing quite substantially into uh, prop tech, property technology. The market in China has also evolved and are currently focused uh, in. And also because that our parent company uh, also has got that um, requirements uh, or expectation from us. I see. So what can you tell us about your parent company, Shuion? Shuion is a Hong Kong listed developer. Um, it prides itself as a uh, city called uh, integrated mixed-use development uh, uh, developers. And some of the iconic projects uh, they have in China includes uh, uh, Xing Tiandi in Shanghai, uh, Knowledge and Innovation Community in uh, Yangpu, Shanghai as well, uh, Wuhan Tiandi uh, and so on. In fact, most of the uh, Better manage TNT projects in China are actually uh, owned and managed by our parent company. I see. So help us understand why should companies from elsewhere in the world consider joining InnoSpace? Especially for startups, uh, as we look at um, B2B and deep tech type of startups, increasingly the um, industry resources or industry resources, you want to call it, becomes very critical for them to uh, not just uh, uh, curate uh, their solutions, but more importantly, uh, for them, for these startups to actually work together with these giants 
uh, as angel user, uh, and then after that, uh, fine tune their solutions and then roll it out in a big way uh, in China. So, the, um, and increasingly, we find that uh, this model actually uh, serves well on two fronts. I mean, like, uh, serves well as well as it benefits both sides, both the startup as well as the uh, bigger companies in China. That sounds extremely interesting. So what is the process of joining in a space? Can you tell us how that works? Uh, yeah, we pride ourselves. We are not a uh, co-working space. So basically, um, the startups have to apply to be part of our community. And uh, the first uh, criteria is whether or not uh, there is a chance for us to invest uh, into this startup. So as I said, currently we are looking at 5G, uh, telecommunication, as well as uh, advanced manufacturing. So the first cutoff is really whether or not that is aligned with our investment strategy and scope. So that's number one. Then if they are, then, um, and especially for the younger startups, whether or not they would like to be in our community, uh, as well as which are the uh, location which are most suitable for them. But having said that, it is not really a requirement for them to be physically located into our space. Uh, our platform is actually fairly uh, robust in the sense that we are able to support fairly well uh, across China. Well, Richard, there will probably be some companies very interested in reaching out to you. How can they reach you? If the engine and engine member companies could help us um, be our line of uh, a, a, a touch point for us, and then, you know, uh, if there are some companies or some startups that are keen to look at China project, can float through this, through Engine, as well as your member companies, and then come to me. I think that uh, we will give them a due consideration. That sounds perfect. Richard, the program sounds fantastic. Thank you for a really thorough and quick explanation of that. Thank you so much. And we will indeed forward those companies to you who are interested in participating with InnoSpace in the future of technology in China. Richard, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.